The NBA All-Star Game is supposed to feature the best players of the season, but this isn't always the case. From guys like Andrew Wiggins to the late, great Kobe Bryant, sometimes a player finds themselves on an All-Star team but did nothing to justify their selection. And today, we're going to talk about that, starting with Andrew Wiggins. This guy shocked the whole NBA fan base when he made it to the Western Conference's starting lineup in 2022. I mean, how can a player who played fourth fiddle to Stephen Curry, Clay Thompson, and Draymond Green make it to the team. His stats in 2022 were decent. He averaged 17.2 points per game, 4.5 rebounds, and 2.2 assists per game. But clearly, discard of Brandon Clark, but he turned it over and finished with great strength. There were players who deserved that spot more than him. And there's one man who Wiggins should thank for this, though. K-pop star Bam Bam. An endorsement from him was the reason why he got so many votes. You know how huge the fan following of these K-pop stars is. What was even more shocking is that he started the game, but that was bound to happen anyways. Players like Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, and Anthony Davis got injured. Speaking of stats, the next player's stats were so bad that it'll justify Wiggins' selection. Dick McGuire. He played in the 1956 All-Star Game, and despite averaging only 6.9 points, 3.5 rebounds, and 5.8 assists per game, McGuire was picked to start the game, which shocked the fans. Like, are these All-Star worthy stats? How can you even make it to an All-Star Game if your scoring average isn't in double figures? I just can't wrap my head around it. And and it was the worst season of his career in terms of stats. From one controversial starter to another, let's talk about Kobe Bryant. He was selected as a starter for the 2014-15 All-Star Game. What made his selection a shock was his performance and his absence from the game. Even before the 2014 season, Bryant was in and out of the team because of injuries. They were a tough few years for him. But in 2014-15, he was just invisible. Because of his injuries, he could only only played 35 games that season. And in those 35 games, Bryant struggled big time. Injuries really had a toll on him. Oh man, I, I mean, these minutes might be just absolutely adding up. Oh, there's no question yeah. they're adding up. I mean, no question. And he became a defensive liability for the Lakers that season. But the fans, they don't care about his performances or the stats. They just wanted to see him in the All-Star game again. Millions of voters came pouring in for his favor, but he couldn't make it to the game because of an injury. Poor Kobe. But speaking of missing games due to injuries, the next player missed a whole lot of them. Yao Ming. This guy was insanely popular. How popular, you ask? Twice. That's how many times he was the league's highest voted player. Like, that isn't easy to pull off. He was selected for All-Star Games in all of his eight seasons in the NBA. And Yao Ming dominating the next Right time to windmill stuff by Yao Ming. Including his last one, 2010 to 11. That season was one to forget for him. Nothing went right. He suffered some serious injuries and played just five games. Horrible. And that's not it. He was forced to retire after the end of that season. Even though I feel sorry for him, he never deserved a spot in that all-star team. But while Ming still had his pros, nothing can justify this next guy. Chris Kamen. He never would have made it to that team in 2009-10 if it wasn't for Brandon Roy's injury. His stats that year were decent enough. 18.5 points and 9.3 rebounds per game aren't bad, but not at all what you'd expect from an all-star. Boy, he did a nice job navigating traffic there. On top of that, it was his first ever All-Star selection. Even though his selection was unlikely, it's always nice to see someone making their first All-Star team. What could be worse than playing five games the whole season and still making it to the All-Star team? You'll find out with the next name on the list, Magic Johnson. He had made a total of 12 All-Star appearances in his career, and 11 of those were totally deserved selections. But his last last one, that wasn't deserved at all. Can you guess how many games he played in the 1991-92 season? None. Yes, you heard it right. The same year, he announced that he was HIV positive, but the fans didn't care about the fact that he missed a whole season. They still voted him for the starting spot on the team, and in that game, he did what Magic Johnson does best. He came in and dropped an MVP performance. It was one of the best comebacks I've ever seen. So even though him making it there was 
super unlikely, it paid off. But speaking of comebacks, a player we've already talked about is making a comeback on my list, Kobe Bryant. This time, it's for the 2013-14 season. Now, I don't have anything against Bryant. He is one of the greatest. But it still doesn't justify his selection for the All-Star team that season. That, too, as a starter. He was facing some serious injury issues that season and only played six games because of that. Possession when he took it to the rim and Josh Smith trying to make the block Woo, very easily could have been an and one. But the voters still wanted to see him on the court. What can I say? Fans just wanted to give their aging star something to remember. And while we're talking about aging stars, the next player was certainly one when he was selected. Pete Maravich. Just another example of an aging superstar receiving one last applause from his fans. Because I can't come up with some other reason for his selection, because his performance in the 1978 to 79 season wasn't anywhere near near his best. He struggled so much because of injuries. In the 49 games that he played that season, he looked slow, his precision was missing, and his sharpness was missing as well. But to most people's surprise, he was still selected as a starter for the 1978-79 All-Star team. Imagine being selected for an All-Star team at 40 years of age. Impossible, right? But not as impossible as this next one. Dirk Nowitzki, NBA Commissioner Adam Silver won wanted Nowitzki in the 2018-19 All-Star team at all costs. He didn't even care about the fact that it was Nowitzki's worst shooting season since his rookie year. But Silver still wanted Nowitzki to give the fans something to cherish about. So, he selected him as a reserve for the All-Star team. Maybe Silver should do this with all the other aging legends as well, shouldn't he? Maybe when LeBron James is set to announce his retirement at the age of who knows what, he should give him one last shot at an All-Star game as as well. So who's the most unlikeliest all-star selection? It's someone we've talked about before, Kobe Bryant. Yup, him again. No, seriously guys, I've nothing against the dude, I'm just stating facts here. In his last ever all-star appearance in 2015-16, Kobe's selection surprised a lot of people, but at the same time, a lot of them were happy to see him for one last time. His performance in the 2016-17 season was even worse than the 2013-14 season. Defensively, he was just terrible. When you get so many injuries at that kind of age, it's tough to recover from them. And Kobe was going through the same thing. And surprisingly, in probably his worst ever season in the NBA, Kobe was the player with the most votes of any player. And not just by a small margin. He received almost 300,000 more than the second-placed player, Stephen Curry. Sensational. But that's all from my side. These were some of the most unlikely players in NBA All-Star history. See you in the next one.